smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30. And join the channel as a member. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and check out the videos that we drop on a daily basis. And if you want to debate, knock out box 86 at yahoo.com. Is the email address. Now, I got to tell y'all, we got more information on Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin. Shakur Stevenson has had some more tweets. Frank Martin then tweeted again. Bob Arum just did an interview on Blue Blood Sports TV. Go check out his interview that he just did with Bob Arum, asking Bob Arum about the situation. We got more information. And with more information, you can change your mind. You can become more steadfast in your opinion. I have chosen to become more steadfast in my opinion, bro. I have, like, I have, I have chosen to become more steadfast in my opinion of both of these fighters. Shakur Stevenson proved that he is exactly who I think he is. Snake, underhanded, will cap on your ass, and you got to take what he say with a grain of salt. Frank Martin is exactly what I said he is so far with the new information that we have. And that is, bro, he ducked the fight. Let's talk about why I'm still saying this. And you go ahead and drop your comments in the, in the, in the comment section. But smash the like button, bro. Hit the like button. Ain't nobody breaking it down like this. You made it this far in the video. We be getting thousands of views. And the likes need to match the views. So please hit the like button. But let's get to cooking. So... Everything from, from over the weekend, this is what's new. Shakur Stevenson then tweeted and deleted some shit. He said Frankie, called him Frankie, was asking for 50-50 and no fight. Then he deleted the shit. Then Frank Martin said, I ain't duck shit, and I ain't asked for no damn 50-50. I ain't asked for no 50-50. Calling that shit Cap. Shakur says, that's Cap. You DM me about it yesterday, and I explained all the numbers to you. We own both of them. So if you're a Shakur fan, boy, might as well exit. If you're a Frank fan, boy, you might as well exit. But we don't. We we on boxing side. I'm on the truth side. And the truth about that interaction, Shakur Stevenson, get the hell out of here. No one, I don't know if Frank Martin did or did not ask you about shit in the DMs. But I damn sure know that you ain't no damn advisor and you ain't talking to nobody about no numbers. And if it was 50-50 that he was asking for a no fight, if he was asking you for 50-50 or no fight, then she, you wouldn't have deleted the shit. I like, I, I, when you say some shit and then backpedal yourself, I can't believe you. So you proved yourself to be the clout chaser, to be the duck, to be the, 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 the not the duck, the clout chaser, the capper, the, the damn snake, underhanded that I've always known you to be. But there's a saying, y'all all know it, two things can be true at the same time. So a lot of Frank Martin fans, a lot of Shakur Stevenson haters are like, well, knock out. How can you at this point still be calling Frank Martin a dog with what you just said at the beginning of the video? Because I separate shit, y'all don't. And I'm gonna explain to you why. At the end of the day, Shakur Stevenson's capery Shakur Stevenson's um, snakish, underhanded ways got nothing to do with the fact that TGB Promotions, who was representing Frank Martin in negotiations, top rank promotions, who was representing Shakur Stevenson in negotiations, came to an agreement. Shakur came to an agreement. Frank Martin came to an agreement. Everybody was cool with they with what they was getting. Everybody agreed to the fight. Agreed to the fight date of November 16th. They was already working on the undercard. Jared Anderson and Top Rank, they was trying to get Frank Sanchez versus Jared Anderson on the undercard. Yeah. All of this shit going on because they came to an agreement and they called off the purse bid. That's what you can't escape if you're capping for Frank Martin right now. If they didn't come to an agreement, then there would still have been a purse bid. 
There was no purse bid because they were good on the money. TGB Promotions was good on the money. Frank Martin was good on the money. And they let the WBC know you ain't got to go to purse bid no more. And Bob Aram, who represents Shakur Stevenson in negotiations, just said that it can't be a money issue because TGB was asking for an amount for Frank Martin. They were asking for a specific amount of Frank Martin. We finally agreed to pay and we came to an agreement. And when we came to an agreement, we sent over the contracts. We sent over the contracts. Okay? And they're even surprised that Frank Martin pulled out. So, again, bro, I need Frank Martin, like, all that back and forth with Shakur. I need TGB, Tom Brown, bro, he, he'll talk. They need to come out and say, man, we ain't agree to shit. We didn't agree to nothing. We don't know what Bob Aram is talking about. We didn't agree to nothing. We don't know why they called off the purse bid. But you won't hear them say that. Because they know that that's cap. The 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 nail in the coffin. The nail in the coffin is that when a sanctioning body calls you the purse bid, bro, they're not calling off that purse bid unless you come to an agreement and you got the fight finalized, bro. They called off the purse bid because they had the fight finalized. And then when it came time to sign the contracts, Frank Martin pulled out at the 11th hour and Shakur's representatives are even saying that TGB and them is surprised that he pulled out. So I need somebody to answer to that, bro. All this shit, we know Shakur Stevenson is active on Twitter and he be lying his ass out to make himself look good. We know that. So we ain't, we, we, we don't take his word for it. We don't take, we ain't taking any word for nothing. As a boxing fan, you take a step back, you say, forget what Shakur's saying. Forget what Frank's saying. The people that's putting up the money for the fight, what are they saying? Top rank standing on business and just saying, hey, this what happened. We offered him this, he agreed to this shit, then he, he, he shit, they, he pulled out. He pulled out. And all Frank is saying is, I ain't duck shit, and I ain't asked for no 50-50. But what you ain't seeing Frank Martin say is, I ain't pulled out the fight. I never agreed to fight him. We never had a deal done, and then I bagged out. He not saying that, bro. Wake up. Smell the coffee. Smell the tea leaf. Do whatever you need to do to come with the realization. Shakur Stevenson fanboys, your boy is a snake. He's an underhanded-ass dude. He going to put extra sauce on shit. He going to do what he can do in every situation to make sure he get the upper hand. Frank Martin fans and Frank Martin fanboys, he ducks Shakur, bro. No matter how much we don't like the personality of Shakur, no matter how much we don't like how he move and shit, his team negotiated with Frank. Listen, Frank Martin and Shakur Stevenson ordered the fight. Frank Martin team... Shakur Stevenson team by way of top rank negotiates with TGB for the fight. TGB say, my fighter need this. Top rank say, all right, fine. Your fighter want that. After negotiating, we'll pay your fighter this. TGB say, we got a deal. Top rank say, we got a deal. They say, all right, let's let the WBC know for they take our ass to purse bid in the zone, try to swoop in this bitch. Marv Nation try to swoop in this bitch. Triller try to get some money together and swoop in this bitch. Let's let them know that we done came to an agreement so they don't send our shit to purse bid and some goddamn vulture-ass promotion company come try to take our fight. So they let WBC know, boom, WBC call off the purse bid. Paperwork gets sent. Frank Martin don't sign it. I don't know what else to talk about. Y'all want to get caught up on Shakur? Okay, Shakur capping about tweets and DMs and shit from Frank Martin. Y'all want to get caught up on Shakur Stevenson and, and Devin Haney and, and equations and shit? Okay, 
Okay, talk about that if you want to. That shit over with. Devin's fighting Regis. We talking about an opponent for Shakur right now. And at the end of the day, bro, you don't come to an agreement. And then pull out that motherfucker and we call you anything but a duck just because we like you, bro. I've seen fighters call. I've seen fighters such as shit. Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, Javante Tank Davis, Vasily Lomachenko, Ryan Garcia. Check this. I'm going to remix it and then I'm going to let y'all go. Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia never came to an agreement to fight. And then Ryan Garcia pulled out of the fight. But Ryan Garcia is a duck to Devin Haney fans. Tiafimo Lopez. Tiafimo Lopez and Devin Haney never agreed to a deal to fight. And then Tiafimo Lopez pulled out of the fight. But Tiafimo Lopez is a duck to Devin Haney fans. And I agree on the Devin and Ryan as a duck and Devin and T.O. And, and T.O. as a duck. Vasily Lomachenko and Devin Haney, when Vasily Lomachenko was the champion, they never went into a, a, a negotiations. They never came to an agreement to fight, bro. But Devin Haney fans believe that Lomachenko dug Devin Haney at that time. I tend to agree with them. Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford went into negotiations. Terrence Crawford claims that he has agreed to everything and then pulls out and fights somebody else. Earl Spence fans believe that that is a duck. I agree. Javante Davis and, and, and Devin Haney. Javante Davis and Devin Haney both get free. Devin Haney changes up his whole energy. He doesn't call Javante Davis his name. Bill Haney ain't got nothing to say about him. Steven Espinosa lets it be known that they have preliminary discussions. Devin Haney goes in another direction. After all that shit talking for all those years, I call that a duck. So my point is, and they never went into negotiations. They never agreed to fight. And then one of them pulled out of it. But I'm still calling Devin a duck. So I say all that to say, I be damned. If you're going to tell me that two fighters, whether I like them or not, negotiate a fight, come to an agreement to fight to the point to where the purse bid that they had was called off because both sides came to an agreement. And then one side pulls out of that agreement and says they're not interested in the fight no more. And their only explanation is, I didn't ask for no 50-50, and I ain't duck shit. Sorry, bro. That's a duck, too. I don't understand how you could call... other people ducks when there's no agreements, there's no... There's no negotiations, but then look at this Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin situation and not call Frank Martin the duck in this situation. I don't understand, bro. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.